rowing a boat may seem like a no-brainer, but in actuality, it's something of a lost art. So today, let's go through some of the finer points of how to row a boat. For starters, many rowboats are long and narrow, so they're kind of tippy. Be careful when you get in. You want to get down low, keep your weight low, and step right into the center of the boat. That'll make for the least rocking and rolling. Then, sit down backwards. You actually row that way. Next, get your oar that's far away from the dock all set up, like so. And then push off the dock to get your next one set. ready to row. Now a good rower will feather the oars. That's when you turn them sideways as you come forward. So there's less wind and water resistance. But to turn, you simply row with one side. Now when you get close to the top, you have to be prepared to shift your oars. Keep the blades aft when you do so. Bring them into the boat, and as soon as you get them into the boat, bring the paddle all the way in, just to be sure that nothing ends up overboard. Paddles? Oops. These are oars, not paddles. Paddles what you do with a canoe. So look, let's talk a little reality here, folks. These days, pretty much everybody's got an outboard on their little boats. In fact, truth be told, I haven't rode a boat like this in years. But you know what? That was a lot of fun and good exercise. Hey, maybe it's time to revive that lost art.